Hello Year 8. I noticed one or two of you seem to have struggled with the My Maths homework from earlier in the week on map scales. So this is part of Ratio 4's uh, task um, and I will go through it with you right now. So this is another example of where realistically you really want to have some pen and paper with you. There's absolutely no way you are going to be able to do this sort of question without um, a bit of paper to just write some questions on. Um, I'm going to do some working out in this space below, um, so we'll see how we get on. So in order for us to um, sort out these ratios, we need to make sure the units are the same. So what I always need to do is make the units consistent with each other, and then I should be able to take the, uh, the ratio. Now, because this is already one to something, I think it makes sense to turn 250 into centimetres. So to turn 250 metres into centimetres, I'm times it by 100 in that case. And this one comes out as 25,000. So remember, when you multiply by 100, you move the digits two places. So this one would be 25 thousand do remember of course on my maths your questions might be slightly different to mine so similar on this one one centimeter to 10 meters i'm doing 10 times 100 and 10 times 100 is a thousand one centimeter to one kilometer well this is one that i know off the top of my head but i'll just go through it with you one kilometer is a thousand meters that doesn't say a thousand, a thousand meters. And then to turn it into centimeters, I then need to times it by a hundred. So this becomes a hundred thousand um, centimeters. So it's one to a hundred thousand. Okay. Two centimetres to one kilometre. Well, I'm going to cheat now. If we know that one centimetre to one kilometre is 100,000, well, to turn this two back into one, I would need to halve it. So I would need to halve that. So I'm just going to take this number here and halve it. It's so a little bit of a sneaky shortcut on that one. I'm also going to use some sneaky shortcuts on the second set of questions, if possible. So we've got one to two million and we want it in one centimeter to so many kilometers well a minute ago we did one centimeter to one kilometer was a hundred thousand and this is 20 times bigger so i'm just going to put straight away it's one centimeter to 20 kilometers similar idea here this is 75 times bigger so it's one centimeter to 75 kilometers turning this one from centimeters into meters well i know i need to divide that number by a hundred to turn it into meters so that one would be 200 and similarly i need to divide this by a hundred so turning this one from centimeters to meters would be one centimeter to 25 meters now on question two you might have had a little bit of uh, problems whether this uh, worked on your appliance sometimes um, the interactive elements aren't, aren't always functioning um, so what i've done already is i've lined up the ruler so we're going to have a look at how long this line is and apply the scale so this is 4.5 centimetres. I've got this set up so I can scribble on my screen. And now I've got to apply my scale. So I need to do 4 times that number. Okay. There's a couple of options here. I could multiply 4.5 by this number. And then turn it into kilometres. Or I could consider what this means in terms of 1 centimetre to how many kilometers so what i think i will do is i will take the 75 sorry 750,000 and just first of all turn this into kilometers so 
centimeters to meters divide by a hundred. Meters to kilometers divide by a thousand. So I know that this scale means one centimeter is 7.5 kilometers. So I need to do four and a half lots of seven and a half. So four lots of seven and a half, I can do it seven and a half, 15, 22 and a half, 30. So the four lots is 30. And the half a lot of 7.5 would be 3.75. So I'm going to put in there 33.75 kilometers. Now I've measured my second one off screen and this one is 3.6 centimeters. So again, I'm going to explore this ratio in a similar way. Now I gonna kind of use the idea of how big this number is and compare it to this to immediately know well if this was one centimeter in real life was 7.5 kilometers looking at the size of this number this must be one centimeter is four kilometers so all i need to do is take my measurement and times it by four and 3.6 times four is 14.4 Finally, two kilometers are 14 kilometers apart in real life. How far that would they be apart on a scale of one to 250,000, sorry, one to 25,000. Okay, so again, it's interpreting this scale. This is one centimeter equals 0.25 kilometers. Again, I'm just using my previous scale to quickly figure out what it is so if i have one centimeter is 0.25 kilometers to turn this into centimeters well four centimeters just times in by four would be one kilometer so what i'm going to do is going to take my one kilometer which is four centimeters and i need 14 of those so it's 14 times four and 14 times 4 is 56. So I hope going through that task has helped you. If you want to have another go, see if you can improve your score. That is absolutely fine. Please never hesitate to email me to say, I've struggled with this question, sir. Can you just go through it with me? Because I'm more than happy to put together something along these lines. But for the time being, that's me signing out. Take care and... Goodbye.